Okay, so here's a video of it running at about 310, 320 milliamps. And this is, honestly, this is what I call a room light. This is the start of a, of a room being properly illuminated such that you could do things. I mean, I can sit in here and work because I can put this one light on what I'm doing and you know have full illumination and read and I can do anything else I want in the in, in the room without being abs you know feeling like I'm operating under a night light and um, you know more light would be better but this is adequate and that's at about 12.8 volts actually uh, sitting right at about 300 maybe even a tiny bit less but yeah and the difference the reason why the screen is not flickering is because I discovered that if I put this capacitor my timing capacitor instead of using one of these um, so we can get it into view instead of using one of these little ceramics for whatever reason they're the same value but that's a high voltage capacitor and uh, it just it just smoothed out the frequency just just a bit plus anytime you dial the resistor it's the the freak the ultimate frequency comes from a combination of the capacitor and the and the resistor but this capacitor really improved things I'm not sure if I should have one on the power rail but uh, so yeah I mean it's basically how I would build this would be I'd have two settings high and low I wouldn't have it so that you could constantly mess around with this because when you if you turn that potentiometer real fast and mess with the operating frequency of this uh, unit here <laughs> it's just not a good thing um, it's not like I mean even when you use them for motors there these are this a basic circuit it can get a lot better than that for smoothing um, fast rapid changes I mean you could have it so that it was dialed but I think what I'll do is I'll have one or two or maybe three settings selectable by a switch but it definitely definitely toned down this crazy circuit this circuit was just ridiculous. I'm sorry. It was. I got laughed and laughed right off the forum when I brought that forward on an electronic engineering forum. <laughs> just laughed, and the whole thing is laughable, I suppose. But whatever, it su su suits my needs. And you know, for 300 milliamps, that's pretty good light. You know, I know what 300 milliamps of driven LEDs normally linear gives me and if it's better than this I don't know I don't know then you got better LEDs than I do because I just I haven't seen it coming from one lamp and I know that this is this is not as economical as driving them straight up but it's good enough and now you can run uh, extension cord you know you can actually run an AC line out which is the underlying goal and you know it's a third of the current that it's less than a third of the current that the inverter is going to run it on so it suits me fine thanks for watching